That's a really big bus. Looking at it, if I were to go up, I could easily mangle my hood on those straps, those, those hooks. But I won't do that. It is 62 degrees outside. It's November 10th. We're in double digit November. It's 62. Windows are down. I am wearing cashmere, but I keep trying to pull my sleeves up. They keep coming down. It's very nice out though. Sunroof's open. Blue skies today. I haven't seen that in days, if not weeks. It's beautiful. So I got my classes done today. Uh, tomorrow I have off, as I said last night. So I'm excited about that. Talked to Joe, met up with Kenan for a few minutes. Um, just had to drive my mom to the library. Some son has the car. She's scanning old projection slides into digital files. Um, what else am I going to do today? I've got some math homework due tonight that I will do tonight. I might actually just mow the leaves off unless the grass is super wet. And something else I was going to mention. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm really enjoying the weather. I'm in such a better mood when it's like this. On the way uh, into town here, I got behind a matte black E36, not an M3. It had very gaudy looking um, aftermarket LED smoked out tail lights on it. It was just the epitome of the riced out M3. And unfortunately, as BMWs get older, they kind of turn into this like Mitsubishi, Subaru, this kind of tuner community. And the E39 is now at that age. You go to Timmy Fest, I have the only stock clean car there. Everything else has been totally molested in some way. Um, and the E36 is obviously a few years older and it's a three series. So the E30, thank God some of the M3s are clean and stock and very valuable. But the E36, most of those are ricers now. The E39, everybody with the 540 puts black wheels on it and cuts the exhaust off. So those have turned into ricers. Um, the E60, I think, is still young enough and still expensive enough. That's that's the reason they're getting riced because you can go out and buy a 540 for you know six thousand dollars. You can go out and buy an E36 for four thousand dollars. So anybody out of high school can just go and buy one of these cars and hack it up. At E60, I would guess that I haven't looked recently anyways that a, a first model year in 04 525 with 130,000 miles on it, that's probably still eight, nine, ten thousand dollars. It's fairly modern BMW styling. It's got iDrive, it's got bi xenons, it's got stuff like that. So they're still pretty clean. But as those cars age, as the F10 lives on in its life cycle and is phased out by something else in a few years, I wonder if the E60 is going to go the way of the tuner racer. It'll be interesting to see what happens to that. I think I stored it one week too early. It was supposed to snow Sunday and be in the 30s all week. They've pushed it back five days. Today's 61, today's tomorrow 65. It'd be phenomenal days to drive that car. Look at that. But I've already spent all the time cleaning and storing it. It would be ridiculous to take it out of storage and then have to fill it up and it's got stable and no gas tank. It doesn't make sense. But I wish I had waited. Or I wish the weather people actually knew what was going to happen. Because that pisses me off. Hello, hello. On the T5i, just playing around. This is the first sunny day since um, since I got it, so I wanted to come out and play with some lower ISO settings. It's in automatic mode, but I'm sure it's using something below 3200, which is what it's been shooting in inside. So, I don't really know. There's tons of autofocus noise. You guys said there's a different lens that doesn't make noise, or some of you like it. So, I kind of like that option better because it's cheaper. So, we're just going to do that. There's one leaf right there. Oh yeah, I see some shakes. It has uh, image stabilization on the lens, which I have on. Again, this is the 18 through um, 135 millimeter IS. I don't know what the IS stands for. Maybe somebody can tell me. Right now, I actually can't see them in glare. There we go. It's my neighbor's oak leaves. See what I mean? There are not that many leaves down. I think, so. I think I'm just gonna mow them off. Problem is, there's more over there, and that would lead to, uh, they're gonna blow over here. So really, if I mow here, I should mow there. But he probably doesn't wanna pay me another $35 when it really doesn't need it. 
There's a lot of autofocus noise. I'm surprised that does not piss people off. I mean, even just shooting, I can hear a ton of it. Focus, there we go. You can see the house needs to be power washed pretty badly. But, I'll see how it does in daylight. I took a few photos out here. I really don't have anything pretty to shoot though. I mean, the grass is kind of going to pot. You know. It seems to do pretty well moving around though. I have it in fast focus mode. That's why. I should get a tripod out, do some tripod shots. That might be cool before everything freezes over. These pine trees that I sprayed with uh, that peasant killer are not looking very good still. They're very thin. The tops look all right. They're a thin pine as is, but I don't know about that then. We've got sticks in the yard. It's gotten wet, so the mower's been chewing it up. It's really bad down there though. Yeah, this focus is quicker than the power shot does. This furniture needs to go inside still. I trimmed this bush, but it still looks like shit. I'm gonna paint that door and the trim next year. I'd like to replace the, the lights back here. All the lights are crap. Uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done around here. That needs to go down, down cellar. Put that in the cellar. And there's the E46 in all of its glory. Mowed off here, got 99% of the leaves. Same deal next door. Took about uh, two and a half, three hours, but looks pretty good for November. So I put the strap on the cannon that came with it and I actually couldn't figure it out. I'm rather embarrassed to say I had to go on YouTube and find this guy made a two minute video of how to put the strap on. It's kind of complicated, but it seems pretty strong and it's got this nice, it isn't leather, but it's like a soft padded material that's got stitching on it. And it's not backwards, it's just kinked right now. Wait, there we go. There, yep. Nice and strong, so I don't have a dedicated SD card for that yet. I'm just taking the one out of this can and the power shot and sticking it in there. So I don't really want to spend another $40 on an SD card. So I mowed two yards today. We sucked up all those leaves. I pretty much mowed each one of them twice. I would go over the front in a 90 degree, in a 45, and then go over it in a 45 the other way. So it looks nice. It's got that 90 degree quilted mowing pattern on it, which looks really sharp. And I got like 99% of the leaves. Now it's the damn pin oak trees next door that always hang on to their leaves until February. And then they fall and blow all over the place because it gets so windy here as fronts move in and out. But right now, as of November 11th, 10th, it's clean. Here's today the 11th. I think tomorrow's the 11th Veterans Day. So it's 1.36 in the morning. Time kind of got away from me. I sat down. I got involved in something. I did like something for like two hours. What was I doing? Did a bunch of emails. I don't know, just that YouTube ketchup stuff where you sit down and you're just being productive for two hours. So I did that. Um, did some E39 source administrative work that needed to be done. Uh, that's pretty much it. A lot of the day today was mowing and a lot of the day was classwork today. I did four hours of math, two hours of macro, uh, an hour and 45 minutes of life on planet earth i took a quiz in there and there's still a ton of stuff due by the end of the week this week is really hitting it hard i guess they see we have a day off and they want to take up that whole day but i made most of it happen today tomorrow i'll go to my grandparents house we're going to do some leaves run around get the blowers fixed hopefully crap like that so i'm going to go up get to bed and um, tomorrow's the last nice warm day 64 and sunny tomorrow 
and 39 and then we're down in the 20s with snow for a couple days in a row so again those tires no i didn't call today maybe tomorrow um yeah i need to do that soon though so all right i'll talk to you guys on tuesday it feels like friday night because i usually prepare to go there friday but i'm preparing now for monday i don't know it's weird all right good night